on behalf of mendier gk and parent company prepq i welcome you to this session of current affairs and as always we will discuss exam oriented questions which appear in government exams or which can appear in some of the management entrance exams and the exams that we focus on are the ibps or ssc or the railway recruitment board exams or the lic exams or any government exam that will ask you current affairs questions and the mba exams that we focus on are tisnet or snap or the cmat so if you are appearing for any of these exams stay with us every day for 10 to 15 minutes and you will be adequately geared up for these exams let's go to the first question for the date the date today is 27th july 2019 and here is the first question for the day aikar divas is celebrated by central board of direct taxes annually on the correct answer is 24th july so the central board of direct taxes and all field offices celebrate uh, aikar divas on this day and 24th july 2019 incidentally was the 159th aikar divas the main function was generally was held at new delhi and was presided by our finance minister nirmala sitaraman and on this occasion the department also launched kar data a sahyog abhiyan to assist and to support taxpayers and other stakeholders to help them e file their returns and discharge other tax related obligations so two important things here 24 july the aikar divas number 2 kar data a sahyog abhiyan to assist and support taxpayers to e file their returns next question what was the theme of global innovation index 2019 the correct answer here is creating healthy lives the future of medical aviation now who released this in india so in india the global innovation index was released by our commerce and industry minister piyush goyal on july 24th and india gained five ranks to get to the rank of 52nd rank so india obtained 52nd position in this ranking and this index ranks innovation performance of 129 countries and economies around the world so which country happens to be the top so at the top you have switzerland followed by sweden followed by usa netherlands and united kingdom so these are the top 5 countries i repeat switzerland sweden united states of america netherlands and united kingdom are the top 5 countries in that order India's rank is 52nd on the Global Innovation Index. Next question: Who released the book Chandrasekhar, the Last Icon of Ideological Politics, authored by Rajya Sabha's Deputy Chairman? The correct answer is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So this book was launched uh, by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and he also announced a museum for all former prime ministers of india and invited their families to share aspects of their lives on this occasion so chandrasekhar the last icon of ideological politics it is authored by uh, deputy chairman of rajya sabha next question which country has recently imposed a carbon tax the correct answer is south africa so south africa recently introduced a carbon tax to ensure zero waste to landfill it also wants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and boost investments for low carbon alternatives and what is the aim of this carbon tax in south africa the aim is to reduce 34% carbon emissions by 2020 and 42% by 2025 South Africa is a country on the southernmost tip 
of African continent and its capitals are Cape Town, Pretoria and Bloom Fountain. The president currently is Cyril Ramaphosa. Next question. Recently, who has been appointed as the Union Home Secretary by the Government of India? The correct answer is Rajiv Meherishi. So he is the Union Home Secretary now. He is a 1978 batch Rajasthan Kader IS officer and he succeeds L.C. Goyal. Prior to this assignment, Maharshi was serving as Secretary in the Department of Economic Affairs in the Ministry of Finance. So the important point here is Union Home Secretary of Government of India is Rajiv Meherishi. Next, recently the students of IIT Kharagpur have developed an application called TASH that connects the caregiver to an elderly person. The correct answer is care for you. So to help geriatric care, students of IIT Kharagpur have developed an application called care for you and this application will connect the caregiver to an elderly person to whom the care is being given. So how will it help exactly? It will inform the caregiver when an elderly person falls down with the exact location. It's an Android based app that will connect caregiver to an elderly person. By using the network based fall detection algorithm in care for you app installed on the phone of elderly the phone can the phone can de phone can detect can detect run down if there is a fall the app automatically calls the caregiver and emergency services along with providing exact location of the elderly person so the app can also detect emotions whether the elderly person opens the app the phone takes his picture and a mood index is calculated so quite an innovative app next question recently microsoft and Apple join which groups dollar 108 billion vision fund to the correct answer is uh, SoftBank group corporation so SoftBank recently announced a second vision fund aimed at investing in technology firms uh, this Japanese conglomerate itself plans to invest dollar 38 billion in the fund and other companies which might join are Apple and Taiwan's Honpei, Honhei Precision Industry Company Limited, that is Foxconn. Both are investors. Were both were investors in the first fund. SoftBank Group is a Japanese multinational conglomerate holding company headquartered in Tokyo. Next question. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurates Uj and Basantar bridges in which state? So the Uj and Basantar bridges were inaugurated in Jammu and Kashmir. <clears throat> so they were inaugurated in Kathua and Samba districts of Jammu and Kashmir. Kathua was not exactly in news for the right reasons but these bridges have been inaugurated in Kathua and Samba districts. The bridges are very important as they will help in smooth movement of the security forces in and around the border areas. The Ud, Uj bridge in Kathua is built at a cost of 50 crore and the Basantar bridge in Samba is built at a cost of 41.7 crore. So the bridges have been built on the project Sampark near the international border. So the Uj bridge in Kathua is the longest bridge constructed by a border road organization. The length of the Uj bridge is 1000 meters whereas Basantar bridge is around 617.49 meter. Next name the virtual museum software which is to be used for digitization of archaeological museums across the country. The correct answer is Jatan. So Union Minister of State for Culture and Tourism Pralat Singh Patel he said that digitization of archaeological museums across the country is being done in a phased manner and the software being used is Jatan which is a virtual museum software. Jatan has been developed by Human Centers Design and Computing Group CDAC Pune. Jatan is used for creating digital collections in various museums and digital archival tools that are used in background for managing national Portland Digital Repository for Museums. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिसर्चर्स डिस्कवर ड्रासीना कैम्बोडियाना इंडिया फर्स्ट ड्रैगन ब्लड ओजिंग ट्री इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज असाम एंड वेर एग्जैक्टली इन असाम इन डोंका सार्पो एरिया ऑफ द वेस्ट कार्बी एंगलोंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन असाम एंड इट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट अ ड्रैगन ट्री स्पीशीज हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम इंडिया सो ड्रैगन ट्री स्पीशीज आर दोज हु सैप टर्न ब्राइट रेड आफ्टर कमिंग इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ एयर so with this we reach our next segment that is question of the day the first question is defense minister rajnath singh inaugurates uj and basantpur bridge in which state and the second question is name the application developed by students of iit kharagpur that connect caregiver to the elderly person if you know the answers to these questions please write them in the comment section given below If you are a CAT aspirant, please go to myprepq.com for three wonderful CAT-related courses. For career guidance, contact me on this number. That's all for now. Thank you very much.